Shalom Chavri, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Quick take of our broadcast. The uh, Syrian fighting factions against President Assad are already out there trying to seemingly manufacture more fake videos about a uh, gas attack inside of Syria. It's kind of interesting, especially after the uh, Trump administration had warned uh, that the Syrians were pre preparing some type of chemical attack inside the country. There's been many articles that have come out about that. And not only has President Trump's administration warned uh, the Syrian government if there are any chemical attacks that his military will pay a heavy price, but they've also warned Russia as well. And then oddly enough today at the G20, when we get the report that President Trump and President Putin will be meeting and speaking over the situation inside of Syria, what makes us think that the Syrian government would even remotely try to attempt a chemical attack on its own civilians while a meeting is going on that could possibly bring about some lasting peace in the region? Well, undoubtedly, it seems like those factions against President Assad, whether it be the Kurds, in this case here, unfortunately, I have to say the Kurds as well, uh, because we have the Kurd Daily bringing out Syria war mother and children killed in suspected chlorine gas attack. That's an article that came out today. There's nothing else said about it other than showing a little girl with an oxygen mask on, mother and child killed in suspected chlorine gas attack on Aleppo or supposedly, I guess that would be in Aleppo. Again, only building up, uh, I guess, information for the Trump administration to be able to give the go-ahead to send in uh, more Tomahawk cruise missiles inside of Syria. This one, though, really kind of got my attention because uh, the man that's uh, in, involved in the video here that's fixing to get an IV stuck in his arm, they're holding his head up for the camera just before they start the rolling of the footage, and you wouldn't see it unless you stop the frames to see. But it's almost like, okay, here's the face, ready to go, put his head down, and then let's, uh, let's uh, work on the guy he's been attacked by uh, chlorine gas or some kind of chemical weapons attack. Uh, just kind of interesting how these videos are put together. It is seemingly obvious that uh, it's not normal. Uh, very troubling indeed, if you ask me. But uh, again, uh, alleged chemical weapons attack on the civilian population. This one here says Assad regime helicopters dropped chlorine gas on eastern Damascus. Again, as they state, how do they know it's even chlorine gas? It's just really troubling, uh, to say the least. All this provocation only to be able to start a third world war. Do they think that if Russia's being threatened as well, that this will go over well? I don't think so. But no doubt, if the U.S. uses this type of video footage here to be able to, to justify an attack on the uh, President Assad's government, it's not going to go very well. It seems like that they're running out of time to take down Damascus to bring about their fulfillment of what they believe to be biblical prophecy that must come to pass. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.